Hey guys, welcome back to Bunny Guys Alpha Plus. Today, another Eden run. Since I'm doing two Eden streaks in a row, apparently. Guppy's poor. Hello, Guppy's poor. Butt bombs, not a great space prime. Can't see how my health is. Not. It's an okay rate of fire, okay speed, and great damage. Like, genuinely really good damage. And a nice luck stat as well. This is like a. Quite a nice Samson start, to be honest. Just with butt bombs instead of. Okay, thank god I nudged that away. Nudged it away? Nudged it away. And yeah, give me some explosivo. I like explosivo. I don't get it anywhere near as much as I want to. This is why I like explosivo. It's good for killing enemies in minimal shots, so you can just plant a shot and walk away. And it's good to kill multiple enemies at once. And it procs way more often than, like, holy light, in my opinion. I forgot what it was called then. It appeared on the daily. So I should remember what it's called. Spoilers, by the way. Go see the daily if you want to. There you go. Stick one and run away. Run away. There you go. Kills most of them. It's so good. Sure. I don't really care that much for the umbilical cord, isn't it? Like, get down to half a heart and then you get a little... Um... What's it called? Little Steven. Go away, dude. That's the downside of it. You try and kill enemies sometimes, but they get stuck. Ah, like that. And the downside of this run is I can't see what my health is. Run away! Okay, I might die in one more shot. Yeah, you gotta run, please. Explosive oh, apparent can apparently proc on these guys as well, which is bad. Do I pee when I exit the room? I don't. Use a tower so you can get some of these things destroyed. Sure, one penny instead of a tower card. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. But yeah, at least I'm not on half a heart, which is good. Explosivo really shines for bosses. Does it stick with him when he goes down? No. Making it way worse. But oh well. If I can get one stuck to him and hit him, it's good. Okay, Explosivo's not good for Little Horn, apparently. Especially this champion, Little Horn. It's horrible. Like, if you try and destroy the balls and then you get an Explosivo stuck to it, and you think you destroyed it. Oh, please explode, please explode, please. Yes. It's a lot of his health gone. Explosivo, to me, is like the safe version of Epic Fetus and Dr. Fetus. It's just the nice, safe, friendly version that we can all love. Please explode. He'll die. There we go. Health. Magic mush. Damage. Health and keys. Fair enough. Ooh, that's actually quite good. And a charged key. But yeah, I don't really care for my space bomb right now. And I have to really look for secret ropes with my bombs. Ooh. Oh, I should go for chaos again. No. I like chaos. Chaos is good. But you need a break from chaos every now and then. And chaos slightly screwed me in my last run. If you saw it. It wasn't my last run, was it, either? It was the run on the daily. Spoilers, spoilers, so many spoilers. Five more cents is good, though. And the second secret room is probably here. Like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was. Go away, Tonsil. Get out of my game. Leave me alone. I've used you and gotten your item. So now you can just go away. I don't care for you. Wow, apparently I was only on Soul Hearts. That could have gotten interesting. Yeah, stick one and then just leave him. Well, admittedly, don't leave him. She, she got you this guy, but still. Still. Pretty much leave him. Okay. This is not good. Okay, I want to stick one to him. It didn't work. I want to stick one so I can get this for free, but I guess I'll use a bomb. Ooh, I'm okay with that. Speed downgrade, slightly annoying, but oh well. My damage is so good on this run. Okay, you don't want to stick a dip. That sounds like some sort of euthanism. Yeah, stick a dip. You know? How did they not explode? Well, they exploded now, but still. Yeah, I'll go for the better one. Were there any rocks here? Can there be a second secret room there? Yeah, there might have been some rocks there. Okay. Go look for the iron room quickly. I would like the shop as well, because I have a nice amount of money, but I don't know what I'd prefer at this point. I'll check the shop first. I'll say. Ah, oh, key. So many trinkets. This, trink this trinket, this game, or this run, rather. Oh, no. Keep petrified poop until you find a bunch of poops. There you go. 
use it productively while you have it, because I think I'll stick with the other trinket, because not as many poops spawn later in the run, but flies will continue to be useful. And as you don't want to kill something with, with flies for some reason. And I didn't even go to the shop while I was there. I'm stupid. But, maybe a key? That's a half red heart, that is not a key. This could be a secret room though. Maybe. It was. Key or bomb? That's just more money. If it gave me a bomb, I could have blown my way into the shop. But if it was a key, I could have gotten into the shop with it. Urgh. Oh god. You don't want to stick a Malaboom! I had just about enough distance there. Really? You gave me two of diamonds. This is great, though. Three free soul hearts. Glad I came here. To be honest, I think that's better than arcade at this point. Thank you, game. Now I'll deal with the devil is possible to take. I think I'll go shop, in case there's a key, and I do have two of diamonds so I can buy an item and a key if I want to. There is a key and it's half price. Hallelujah. No, use this first. Be intelligent for once. And bogo bombs, and then donate a single penny. So you stick on 15 cents. Sorry, donation machine. Sorry. But oh well. And I have a nice luck stat right now. I must have gotten two lucky pennies at some point. I can't remember when though. Ugh. I think I'm gonna stick with this. Admittedly, I could have played it to look for a key or a bomb. I hadn't thought of that. I'm mostly just drink drinking? Treating this item right now as just dead weight and not really caring for it. Which isn't the greatest attitude. And fine, I'll go for this. Fine. Sure, give me a bomb. Give me a pretty fly. Give me a bomb. That's a key. I'd like a bomb. That's a half red heart. I'd like a bomb. That's a penny I just put in. Bomb. Please. Anybody. That's two pennies. Come on. Please. Pl please. Stand here in case it's a troll bomb. Ugh. Fine, I'll do this. Hey. Hey. All worked out in the end. And I threaded the needle quite nicely. So I left that room with minus 15 cents. Well, not minus 15 cents. I lost 15 cents in that room. Ah, fine. I'll just shoot these. I don't care about petrified poop enough to go back for it. To shoot three poops. I don't the reason why I went was because I forgot the number or how to count. I forgot how to count. Oh, thank you for jumping past your friend. You completely destroyed him for me. Oh, my damage makes it so much easier to kill these guys. Not a tears okay. Give me what's it called? The pact. I'll take that. It's not the pact, but I don't care. It still gives me the chance to get deal with the devil items later. Also, when did I get this tears upgrade? Because I was on 11 rate of fire earlier, I swear to you. Oh, I didn't even see this as a curse room. <laughs> I was like, yeah, just go in here. It's a regular room. There's a way up. That was dumb. It's full half damage now, so I lost one and a half hours there. I was hoping it'd be some sort of invincibility. This is bad. Oh, I killed the ones at the bottom with the flies, though. Oh, you cruel mistress. Okay, apparently this is the floor of trolling. Since I got... Oh, thank you for not poisoning me, though. This is when it can be a bit dubious to have Explosivo, as you can tell. But yeah, that was a bit cruel. Went for a immunity card or an invincibility card to try and play that dude for free and get out for free. Oh, thank you, though. Thank you. Can't get forgiveness that easily, but thank you. For your energy, it's pretty good if I get a good space for him. Give me, please give me a bomb. There's a tinted rock right here. Dude. Good shot, but still, I almost walked on the creep. Almost. I think it killed me on yesterday's daily. Don't think I've forgotten it. Uh, this room is annoying just because if you want to get it, you got to walk around. Ugh. Ugh. At least the floor's not bigger than it naturally would be, because it was only the pill and not the actual straight-up curse. That's the wrong direction, meaning I can go back much faster than I otherwise would have. Thank you. And I'm still confused where my tears upgrade came from. I can only assume it came from a pill, but I think I would have remembered that. Usually if I get a tears up pill, I'm like, hell yeah, tears upgrade pill, it's amazing. Oh, the explosive on these guys. Just stick one on the fast guy, and then just leave him. Leave him. Leave him. 
Yes! Genius! I found the perfect counter to this room. Admittedly, my damage and tier 8 are pretty good right now. Tier 8 less so, but still. I'll try it. I have a lot of keys. Wish I had a bomb, though. If I had 5 cents, I would buy the BOGO bombs. Not the item, just the two bombs. But I'd buy them. Ah, this room. The enemies are up here. I can't see them, though. I can see these ones, but I can't see the big enemies. There he is. Get There we go. Stick it to him. And then he'll just die on his own. And then, as I thought, the bomb would stick to that guy, too. Perfect. Get them. There was only one. I thought there was two. Generally. Come on. Get rid of that guy. Oh, Jesus. This is not a room in which you want to fight like this. Ah. Hate this room. Like, it's actually a really fun room in the way it sort of unfolds your brain to its own will as you try and figure out where you need to go to not get hit. But admittedly, the RNG of where they go can be a bit annoying. But oh well. These are good. Good cards, good cards. Strength is a good card in case I get a deal with the devil. Makes it free. Thank you a bunch. Now let's go look for the item room. Okay, this is a good room to show off Explosivo as long as I can get one stuck. Admittedly, I just want to put that bomb down so I can kill them and get the tinted rock. Thank you. Thank you, pretty fly. Thank you. There we go. There's the power right there. That's bad. Yep, that was a dumb place to stand. Ow. I was like, okay, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which gap's bigger? By the point I had decided, which was down. No, not in a million years. Not all this space, Brian. But yeah. With where I was, it was like, okay, down is the right way to go. But by that point, I had sort of cornered myself. Oh, curse the maze plus curse the lost. Like the worst combo of curses you can get. The worst, I tell you. Apart from maybe, well, one would be slightly annoying, I will admit, would be, oh, pop up, perfect, perfect. No, dude, screw you. Yeah, an annoying one. Yeah, camo isn't great. But th let's finish my sentence for once. Oh, that's so good. Can't get too many, I'll just use it. This is probably quite dumb. But I'll take that, and now I can carry two things because of polydactyly, I remember. I remember these things. Did I go down here? I didn't. I didn't. What was I saying, by the way? What was I saying? Something about things and stuff. I can't remember. Don't give me two hosts. Thank you. Oh, the black heart, so good. Ooh, this could be amazing. It was amazing. Sorry, Fly, but that was worth it, in my opinion. Two bombs for the cancer trinket. That's like getting a slightly worse version of... Well, that's actually probably not a slightly worse version of Sad Onion, which was what I was going to say, since it can break the tears gap. And Skinny Odd... Not Skinny Odd. Um, that was close. But yeah, another good show-off for um, Explosivo. This guy, since he stays stationary, so the bombs destroy him. Also, ow. That was horrible. I'll save my dice shard. I want to use it on a deal with the devil that's bad, if possible. Or something else that has multiple items. Not guaranteed, but I'd like it. Dude, go away. This, if I get Delirious, which is one of the items which I haven't gotten yet, on my save file, I think I've had it on a daily or two, I would probably take it as a space program. Sometimes it's a, well, not bad, but it's sometimes outclassed space program wise. It's not, in my opinion, top tier to have a boss fight a boss. But it can be good, I guess. Chariot. You know what? Double up on chariot cards. Double up. Then you... Oh, that's so good. Chariot. Die. Yes. Nope. Yes. One shove down. Then... Wait for it. Oh, please explode. Go! Die. Oh, why did you jump? I want that to explode you. God damn it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Enemies that jump are annoying with Explosivo, because you get a shot and you're like, yes, please explode, and then they do that. 
And then the game trolls you by making you fire loads of shots before you get an explosive while they're staying on the floor. And then when they jump, or just before they jump, you get one stuck and then it flies away. And you're like, God damn it. Also, I know I'm going to forget. Actually, yeah, put that there in that order so you don't at least have less chance to forget that you have the strength card. Perks. Not really useful right now since these guys don't do full heart damage. It would be slightly annoying if they did, but they don't. Really, with the battery charges though. Oh no! Thank you. Destroyed the rock or the mushroom as well. Thank you. I'd like to destroy these ones though. Oh, that's a great place to stick one. And so is there, to be honest. And they're destroyed. Love Explosivo. It can be dubious though. This is basically a run where I'm like, look how good Explosivo is, even though it's hurt me a few times. But look how good it is. When an item can hurt you, and I'm saying it's good, even though I'm not that good of a player, you can probably see how good it is. Since it's helping me out more than it's hurting, in my opinion. Like, I no, I just said, you can see how good it is, and I said I was a good player. I'm not great, but I do my best. Epiphora. Can I break the tears cap right now, because I have... We can't drink it. Let's see. Testing. Six... Five, three. Yep, definitely can. Thank you, Cancer. And that's as low as I think it'll go. Yeah, that's as low as it'll go. Which will be good for a boss fight. Does it still work through rooms? I can't remember. I think it resets. It doesn't reset. I could have swore it reset. Okay, get some um explosivo shots in there. Guardy is another great enemy to do it with. I think I can just leave him and he'll die from the explosivos. Yep. That was so good. This guy, go away, please. There you go. D dude, please. No deal with the devil. None. Nada. Really. Tears upgrade's nice, though. Go through here. No shop. God damn it, let's tease myself and see what I could have gotten. Oh, of course, I was like, eh, there's not much. And then I saw the dime and was like, no. I want it so badly. Oh, God. Some paperwork just fell on the floor. Why? The arm of my chair just completely destroys that. One second. One sec. Pause that. Jesus. Like, I checked this beforehand, and it was fine. It wasn't hanging off the edge, and for some reason now it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna go on the floor now. Jesus. I think it's because I, like, gently swivel in the chair. Is this? Oh, it's not second floor. I was like, am I really far ahead of schedule? That was dumb. That was almost dumber, because I almost got hit by my own Explosivo after I praised it. Well, that's nice. Oh, just run. Just run. They didn't all die. I could have swore they'd all die. My tier rate feels way better, by the way, since I got Halo for some reason. Like, oh my god, that's close. I've only gotten a one tiers upgrade for, from it, which is expected, but it feels so much better. I don't know why. It might just be because I didn't notice it before popping, and I was like, wow, why is my deer rate just suddenly amazing? And it still only goes to three. Even with the tears upgrade. God damn it. I remember once I got to like a two rate of fire on the hush fight, which was fun with Everfor, since you don't really need to maneuver that much for hush while he stays still. There we go. He's done. Please be good. I'll use it on this room, at least. Sorry, dudes. Yay, I got three of them. That's actually higher value than I'd expect. You know what? Let's use a second. I'm not trying to break any records. Ah, uh, Not great usage, but... I wasn't going to use it anywhere else, so I guess it was. Well, that was amazing. Thank you. That was like a secret room snipe. I don't need to blow up this guy to get more deal devil chance, because I'm at 100% since this run hasn't had many. I'd like more, personally. Can't get that one. Didn't think I would, but I thought I'd go for one at least. In case I get, like, some one makes more bills and maybe get through there. But that's kind of a niche set of circumstances, don't you think? I'll do it. I have a lot of keys and an okay amount of bombs. It's not going to be too bad. And it's not going to be the trinket. Didn't give me too much money, but it allows me to get into some rooms, which I otherwise... Well, not get into rooms, but... It gives me money that'll help me for the shop, is what I meant. Emperor. It's tempting. It's tempting. Risked it. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. He was so stacked with... Oh, that's so good. But he was so stacked with the... Explosivo shots that he was just done. But that's why I love Explosivo, because it's like Ludo for me. That's nice. It's like Ludo in the way that once the shot's there, you don't need to do anything. You can just let it do its work. It's so hands-free. Like, you have to get the shot there, same with Ludo. But it's the same basic principle of you get the shots there, they'll do the rest of the work, as long as the enemy doesn't jump. Which is the same for Ludo as well. This is strange. Oh, that's bad. I saw the explosive shot move across the screen and I was slightly confused and then I realised what it was as he hit me in the face. An explosivo does screw over the zombies too. And I did just get hit again, which was kind of stupid. Wow, he shot them across the map. And thank you for that, because now I can see the tinted rock that I didn't see before. It wasn't great tinted rock, but oh well. Nope. Stay away. Oh, I tried to dodge, but my speed is not good enough because of the small rock pickup. He had an explosivo too, I didn't see. I'm not going to take that for a one tiers upgrade. Actually, it'd be more than one, wouldn't it? I'll take it. Because I have cancer, so my tier rate's gonna have broken. <sighs> but still, ow. Stop it, Explosivo. It's my fault. But still. Still. And I have said it so good, so I can't really complain. I basically have to prepare myself to be disappointed when I get hit. After I say, yes, it's so good, I love it, it's amazing, bleh. I am behind schedule for boss rush if I wanted it, and I don't, so it doesn't matter, so I don't even know why I said it. But I have, so don't question it. Three of the black mask guys. Aren't they usually like white masks on this room? I'm not trying to be racist with the coloration of masks. But aren't they usually white? I know they have sort of a chance to be black or grey. Which are the probably easier versions because they can be killed. I don't like the red versions, since they are sort of like the weird enemies. I think a tumor enemies. Oh, I just realized that I can get to a one rate of fire. Oh god, look at the spread. Like, let me go over here and then let me walk forward. Look how, like, randomly my shots fly out. Jesus, not very accurate, is it? Oh, stay still. Ah, I want to keep my rate of fire up. God damn you. God damn you. No. Stop it. Please. Oh god, I deserve to be hit by that. Oh, please just bounce. Yes! Oh my god, he escaped. Well, she escaped. It's Sister Viz, not Mr. Viz. Ha <laughs> ha. The void. I gotta take it. You gotta take the void. It's just the rules. And I didn't even use my card. Duality. You know what? To get to Pony Bird or Invincibility, I'm gonna leave this behind. And actually, no, suck it up. That's a smart decision, Brain. I'll leave the shop. Sorry, shop. I just can't be able to go back through all those rooms. Because I'm lazy. As I say in like every episode now, and you're probably like, just shut the hell up and play the game. Apologies. Die. Thank you. I'd like to keep my one rate of fire through most rooms, but it's not going to be easy since a lot of rooms you got to sort of turn around. Turn around. With normal, that could be helped, but... I did do what I wanted to, not get hit by the way, I did do what I wanted to by sticking all the guys that have to be hit in the back of the head with sticky bomb shots from Explosivo, oh, I didn't quite get the thing, oh well, I have a lot of bombs, thank you, please be good, <sighs> yeah that's worth it, I was considering, well not considering, I would have sucked it up if it was bad, but it wasn't bad, Mysterious Liquid is really nice. You gotta love Mysterious Liquid. Plus, with, with this rate of fire, it's so nice. Oh, yeah. It'd be so nice if Explosivo made it even better. That's not great. Damn it. Like, if you got Explosivo, and then if it exploded, it made a massive pool of Mysterious Liquid goo. That'd be cool. Make that a thing, modders. M make it a thing. It'd be a very small sort of change that not many people would notice. Ow. But it'd still be cool in my opinion. To be able to have that. Thought it was a secret room. It just looks like it, you know? I didn't mean to give you a key, but you know what? Take some keys. I have a lot. 
I don't need all need all these. Need all these. Don't open it yet. I've made the mistake before of opening it and then having troll bombs. Just to destroy this guy. Keep one. Actually no, keep like two. For the chest, of course. Well, this chest, not on the floor. Yeah. I'll just blow him up. I was considering waiting, but he usually gives you the trinket. Which I don't really care about that much. Spiders. Ah, the troll bomb came from the regular chest. Sorry, red chest. I was not betrayed by you. Well, I was, because you gave me spiders that can hurt me, but still. Bad place to stand. I thought I'd be able to squeeze past it, but apparently not. Sure, give me more keys. Give me more keys, fool. Ugh. I don't even know if I'll get the shop on this floor. Wow. Does it actually make the green pool? That looked like a green pool to me. Is it just me? That looked like a green pool of goo on the floor. I've got to check that out again. God damn, I missed. Right, leave it, and then see what happens. Oh my god, it does! Oh, this is why I love this game. Just how items synergize so beautifully. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. I might have saw it and then absent-mindedly just said, Oh, why isn't this a thing? It would be cool. Because I thought it looked cool in my brain and didn't really compute that I saw it. But yeah, that, that's actually really cool. I like that. I like it. It's a very minor thing, but... It, it's... It's small. It's a small change, but it's nice, you know? It's like when you have a soup, and it's not quite right until you put in some, like, spice or something. And it's like, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll take Buddy in a box. I rarely take him anymore. Sorry, Buddy in a box. Oh, God. Noose baby, apparently. I don't even know if that is a baby, but it looks like it could be. Blow it up for more deal with Del Chance. Who am I kidding? I'm not getting a deal with the devil on this floor. You only get them with 100% certainty. Aren't I right, game? Am I right? I think I'm right. Kill all the bonies. Hey, boss room wasn't too far away. Very nice. And I'm keeping the answers ruined for the next floor. Look there. Look there. And look here. There we go, I found it eventually. Of course, the one floor where I have no vision of where I am is the one floor where I get both secret rooms, because that's how I work, apparently. Use that, because I don't like you, Mom. You're not too bad, but I still don't like you. Shoot at the doors, because then you make the mysterious liquid pools on the floor that she'll just spawn on, I just noticed. I don't even know, it hit me. I can only assume a shot that I didn't notice, but I still didn't see it. But I'm not going to say the game was wrong. Oh, I've got to scratch my face again. Oh, Jesus. No! That was the dumbest damage. No deal with that. Didn't think so. Take that, because I'm not sucking any of those up. Because that would end the run faster. It would make getting streaks easier. But it wouldn't be as fun or as fair. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do it. Yay! I was going to say, maybe it's night in the... I can used to teleport away, and it is. Goodbye. Now I'm gonna get more keys and be like, God damn it, I wanna open the rest now. Also, Mysterious Liquid plus Curse of Darkness is really cool. Legitimately cool. I like it. Makes a nice light show. It's like when you have Jacob's Ladder plus a Curse of Darkness. It's so pretty. I just have to be hit about 20 times on this room. Maybe 30, depending on the situation. Dude, there you go. Get Explosivo, and then they pop up and die. Perfect. And I got the secret room. I wish that could be useful. It'll be useful. Actually, well, I was gonna say it'll be useful for the hush fight, but you can't get remote machines there, as far as I know. I didn't even try and get a secret room here. Or just try and blow through here. I didn't know that the secret room boarded that. You know what? I'll try and make him pay out. I'll go down to four hearts. I have permanent Polaroid invincibility, so I can get a lot of free plays, is what I'm thinking. At least. Come on, dude. Acid baby was not worth it. But I can suck it up, so maybe it'll give me a good stat. Or at least a good stat bonus. So it could give me a good stat and then give me, like, 0 0.03 damage up. I know that's not how the void works. It gives you either a 1 damage up or some other stat. But shut up. Shut up. And I don't want to suck this up. I will get close to the Bob transformation. 
Now all I need is like Bob's brain, Bob's curse, or Bob's brain, Bob's curse, or Ippercat. Two of those three items will make me Bob. And oh, that's so bad. Oh, that was even worse. I forgot it was there, and then I ran into it. Oh, Jesus. Please be good. Nope, none of them are good. For some reason, the one makes you, the one makes you larger, froze me in place. Which was strange. I'll blow you up for better deal. The devil chance. And I'll just blow you up because I don't think I have the right amount of health to make you work right now. Range up's fine. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. By any means. Okay. Didn't expect you to come off your rails, dude. There we go. Finally got my charge back. Come on, he's keeping me invisible. Don't go through the door. Go out here. Please be good. Shot speed and range. So, the demon beggar wasn't worth it. I'm not a fan of shot speed and range, especially when I can hit the other side of the room with relative ease. Dude, could you stop? Please. I hate this room. I hate that confined rooms with enemies that move with speed. Because then, well, of course you move with speed. You don't move with, like, other things thinks of sciencey word, can't think of sciencey word, says other things. Yay! I'm a smart person. And I'll go to second secret room. It can give me health. Dude, die. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I want to keep my one rate of fire up. I'm not going to keep it up. And I'll get some more keys. I have bombs. And I should have bombs for second secret room. Ooh, tinted rock. Just noticed it in the darkness. <sighs> Quick as head. No. Not worth. Please be good. That could be good. X lags, don't care. We'll make shit larger. I've got bills and health. Full health. I'm okay with the full health for deal with the devil purposes. I'm guaranteed to get one on one of these goddamn floors. And hopefully it's not going to be Krampus. Because that would be mildly annoying. Oh, he's done. He's. Yeah. He ran into the red poop as well. Poor dude. Poor dude. Death. Sure. Oh, now I went to fight death. Death card on death. Mwahahaha. Plus, I destroyed his scythes. Even more mwahahaha. The noise, noises were necessary. Jesus Christ game. 90% chance. I did that for the, the, uh, for the good stats and I did get it. But a 90% chance and I failed. So, with a 30% chance deal, devil, you don't get it. That's. Like. 20% uh, more likely, or 23.65 occurring, if you gotta get technical. Or, yeah, that much more chance of appearing than the chances of that deal devil not appearing. And it didn't appear. Someone run the maths and put it in the comments on how unlikely it is for me to not get deals of devil for that long and with that percentage chance. Oh, uh, nope. Thank you. Of course, the Tinted Rock was a troll bomb. Oh, I was about to say, I'm starting to think I might die on this run. And then I got that. And it renewed all my faith. The game is just giving me an emotional roller coaster, Especially with that speedy enemy. Jesus Christ. My heart was not prepared for that. But this baby seems pretty good. It's got parasitoid tears and has a sexy, sexy afro. So that's good. Nope. No! Oh, I got caught on the polyp. Not a rock, a polyp. Oh, I like seeing the green stuff. Not boogers. The mysterious liquid pool explosion. Looks pretty. As I've said. But also... Ouch. Stop taking so much damage. Please. Stick one in the middle. Please. Just one. There you go. No! Got to most of them, but still. They still decide to be annoying. Guys, please. There you go. Thanks for the keys. I don't think I'm going to get any items other than a deal the devil item by the end of the floor. And I'm not even guaranteed to get one. I could get red chests with nothing. But yeah, this has been a run that's only had, like, oh, so bad. Three guaranteed deals of the devil. That is much lower than you'd like. So I'm glad I went for Mysterious Liquid. Unless rerolling gave me, like, Tech X or something. I'm not even sure I'd take it. So I've had so many good runs recently with tech x 
so you know sometimes you gotta mix things up a bit if I was just going for a streak I'll, on like 20 I'd be like yes yeah, tech X it's gonna make the run easier making my streak grow dude really you stayed down for all that time while I wasn't even shooting please pop pop my damage is now high enough for it to just knock them out for a while and not just stay the same. I don't even know how I dodged that. I just sort of turned my brain off and was like, autopilot it. I'm not doing it. And it worked. Never set your brain to autopilot when you're being shot at by undead children in your mother's womb. I feel like I can, I can only be said in The Binding of Isaac. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's probably quite likely it's the only game you could hear it in. Or real life, for that matter. Please give me a second secret room with health. Please. Ah, uh, thank you. I think it pass. Range up. And I found bills. Let's take this for the boss fight, because I don't like some of the enemies that spawn. So you know what? Destroy these guys. I hate them. That's literally all I wanted it for. Try to get one more shot in there, or one more hit in there. Could have gone wrong. Ah, oh, she's boned. She's so boned! Nice. I could go deal with the angel, but I want to give her my health. Urgh, I hate you, game! Really? The troll bombs? Jesus. The game is not letting up. It's really not. Only three deals of devil with guaranteed ones that I'd have to get unless I took damage to lose them. And they're the only ones I could get across the entire run. Ah, I didn't think that should have hit me, but oh well. I guess I'm okay with it. Health. No. A lot of goddamn money, so money equals power is welcomed. I haven't had money equals power for a while now, think about it. The only time I ever see that item is when I get a bunch of money, and then I'm like, oh, what items did I get on my reroll now? Oh, I got money equals power, 99 cents. Ha ha, lol. How funny. So good. Yeah, you can explode. I don't want to deal with you. Really? You survived? God damn my shot speed for knocking him back so much. Dude, there we go. Me trying to be accurate 101. Okay, stick each of them. Of course the one that was close to me went to his second phase. I hate those enemies. Nothing. Nope. Not worth it. Unless it's a golden chest, or a stone chest, or a red chest. And it gave me the literal only chest that's not that. Apart from the sort of holy chests that have sort of a blue and white coloration to them. Nope. 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 Good dodges. Good dodges. Today I've been in sort of the zone for Isaac. Admittedly, I deserved to be hit there. That was dumb of me. But I think I've been in the zone for Isaac today. Been doing well. Not worth anything. I still think Skinny Odd was worth it as well, since I haven't had any, like, rain, not rain, shot or tears upgrade since that point, so I think it was worth what I got from it. Also, how the hell is this not a secret room? I checked down there, so it's not a secret room, but all, everything in my mind is leading to that being a secret room, so I don't know. Please say a secret room's adjacent to the curse room, though. That would make my life a lot easier. Thank you, Mysterious Liquid, for destroying that guy. Could be over here. Still could be over here. Please. Yes! Secret room access for me. And maybe a deal with the devil to make it seem like I'm just whinging about not getting it. Yeah, leave the room there. It's a smart decision. Smart decision. Red chests. This dude. I want to play you, honestly. But I just can't. Well, I could, but... I, I wouldn't trust myself. Plus, I don't have permanent polar with invincibility anymore, so I'd only be able to get, like, eight plays out of him, guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed, really. As long as I run into him at the right angles, it'll probably be around that. But if he pays out with something on the first play of trying to get the free plays by sort of holding against him for a while, that's how you get the free plays, since his... Your immunity frames outlast his animation. He spawned a fly. Cheeky little fella. Yeah, that's the maximum amount I could have gotten, but I would have died just then, so yeah. Unless he gave me ceremonial robes, which would be nice. Right now! 
but I prefer the run as it is because it's risky. So if I win, it makes it all the more better. Secret rooms, no. Fair enough. Hate this room. Getting out is easier than getting in. Giggity. That's what she said. All these immature jokes. Give me the quarter so I can suck it up, please. Nope, that's a single spider. And this is a single widow. Ha ha ha, jokes. I am so funny. Thank you, Explosivo. Secret room. That's a horrible bomb. Place it straight, you dingus. It's not there anyway. Place it there. There it is. It's health, but it's the wrong kind of health, and if I had a dark bomb. I said health. I said health. Oh my god, that was the dumbest of the damage. Try not to die, please. This guy shouldn't be too bad as long as you get a bunch of shots stuck to him. But, still questionable. Okay, he's down to his next phase now, guaranteed. Okay, run away. Okay. He did fly away. Sometimes if you don't do enough damage to him, he'll stick around and troll you for a bit. And sort of zoom around the map in questionable ways, but he didn't do it that time at least. All that time. Yay. He went down. He's not shooting directly at you. Good. One explode. Good. He'll be down on the next pass by. So, the next floor, you'll be able to take one hit. Wow. A whopping one hit of damage. I feel like that's too much, you know? The game shouldn't give me this many hits to be able to take. It's too many. Ugh. Damage up's nice, I guess. Give me balls of steel. Can't remember what balls of steel looks like. Perks is so good. Boy, energy, sure. But perks is amazing. Don't like this situation. I'm tempted to pop perks just to guarantee my survival. Oh my god, I. I was gonna say I clenched my butt cheeks there because I thought they'd jump on me, and then I ran to a spider because the thing spawned a spider in an opportune moment. God damn it. I shouldn't have died on that run. It was so good. I was just playing badly after I said I was in the zone. Ha 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 ha. But health did. Jesus Christ. I think I just inhaled something. But yeah, the game did stop giving me health at some point, so. Oh well. Next run will be, if I remember, starting to do just random streaks again. And yeah, there's a seed, which I forgot to look at again. Sorry. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and play a seed at home if you want. And tell me what other wondrous items or stats upgrades you could have gotten from the void on this floor. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.